In this video, I'm going to talk about photo resistor, what they are, what they can do, and how to connect it to an Arduino to control a digital and analog pins. The first thing to know is the circuit symbol. It's similar to ordinary resistor. The only difference is the arrow, which indicates light intensity. In reality, the difference is clear. They also behave differently. The common thing is that they both have two pins. With the ordinary resistor, the resistance is constant with constant power supply. But with the photo resistor, the resistance depends on light intensity that hits its surface. With increase in light intensity, the resistance decreases, and with decrease in light intensity, the resistance increases. The common way to utilize its property in our circuit, we normally create a voltage divider with the photo resistor to be input resistor or output resistor. The proportionality of the voltage divider output to light intensity depends on the position of the photoresistor in the voltage divider. If in our circuit the input resistor is photoresistor, the output will be directly proportional to light intensity. With a graphical presentation, as presented on the right hand side of your screen. But if I change it, so that the output resistor now becomes the photo resistor, the output becomes inversely proportional to light intensity. Graphical presentation is also presented. Enough of the theory, let's practicalize this. I first create a voltage divider on a breadboard. I then connect the output to analog pin 0. Let's start with this configuration. Going by that, I then connect the VCC to 5V and ground to ground. I write a simple code that will display the output on the serial monitor. As you can see, with increasing light intensity, the output also increases. In total darkness, the output drops to certain value which depends on the ordinary resistor that is in the circuit. I'm using 10K resistor. If you change it, you will definitely have different value. Let's try the other circuit configuration. To do that, we simply change the 5V connection to ground and ground to 5V. I upload the same card. Now see the difference. With light intensity, the output decreases, and in darkness, it increases. Going by this configuration, let's control the pin of the Arduino. To control the digital pin, I first of all add an LED to the circuit by connecting the long pin to digital pin F and the short one to ground. In the code, I declare the pin, set it to be output. In the loop, I set a condition for the pin to be high if the output value is greater than 70, it's low. After uploading, you can see how I can now on and off the LED with the shadow of my thumb. This is exactly what happened in our solar street light. For analog pin control, I have to change the digital pin connection to analog pin, which I then change it to pin 9. In the code, I made some changes. In the declaration and in the loop, I mapped the voltage divider output, the LED brightness. After uploading, you can see how the light intensity hitting the surface of the photoresistor affect the LED brightness. To know more about photoresistor, try and go through a data sheet, which you can always download it online. With this, we've come to the end of this video. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be creative, and I hope to see you in my next video.